very warm welcome to our perspective altering show where we offer you ways to access more robust well-being and help you to nurture in yourself your highest levels of energy, vitality and freedom from sickness and disease. I'm Liz Gunn and today Dr. Bruce Lipton explains a core principle of quantum physics which is that everything is in fact energy, even the most apparently solid objects. Then we look at the molecular structure of oxygen. By adding one more molecule of oxygen, you get ozone therapy, which can make you full of energy, look younger, fight off diseases. Dr. Wayne McCarthy will enlarge on this. He'll talk on the effects of ozone injected into the body. This week, actor Bruce Hopkins is in an ozone spa where he's absorbing ozone through the skin, through the pores. And we further discuss the spa, known as the HOCAT, with former engineer and now health scientist, Canadian Ina Bosniak whose life's now dedicated to helping others through this modality because, like Dr. McCarthy, she's seen such profound improvement in patients who are exposed to ozone. But let's begin, as we always do, with Dr. Bruce Lipton, who used to teach medical students at Stanford University and who's now at the cutting edge of new science. Bruce Lipton, when we last talked, you were talking about the place of the heart and the energy of the heart. And then I loved it when you actually referred to these airy fairy new age terms like love and you wanted to bring it down. Actually, the new age and quantum physics, science, are now meeting, aren't they? The new age Absolutely. used to be dismissed and, and called nonsense, but now science is catching up, if you like. What do you think of that? Well, this is the most important change in our perspective of science, simply based on this. Our conventional science, especially medicine, is based on what are called Newtonian physics. And Newtonian physics is an understanding of the world based on just studying the physical world. It was a science that said, you don't have to worry about invisible stuff in here. That's not relevant to you. Only worry about the physical things. The body is a physical machine. It's controlled by physical chemicals, physical genes, and we live in a physical world. And this was from Victorian England. This is when the oh. Industrial Revolution happened. Everything was a machine, wasn't yeah. it? Well, and basically, it was very necessary for science to take this approach for a simple reason. Because if it started talking about the invisible, it was stepping on the toes of the church. And that's what separated physics from metaphysics. Metaphysics says, oh, the invisible realm, spirit, and all that stuff. Well, science says, look, we can understand life without going into metaphysics. We'll just focus on the physics, the Newtonian physics. So all of biology and all of medicine is based on a physical machine run by chemicals and robots and genes and blah, 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 blah. And then we find out in quantum physics in 1925, it said, wait a minute, the human body looks like it's made out of matter. Everything in here that's physical looks like it's made out of matter. And I go, it's an illusion. Because when you look at the atoms that make it up, and the atoms are supposed to be the physical particles, when you take that atom apart and you find, oh, there are things inside, electrons, protons, neutrons, yeah, I say, yeah, those are smaller particles. I say, but then what quantum physics said, well, what was inside the electron, proton, and neutron? And the world changed. Because what was inside was nothing physical at all. It was energy vortices, like little nano tornadoes of energy. Like space, it's it space is. with... Well, basically it is. So all of a sudden they say, what we see as matter is only just another form of energy. It's invisible energy. And you say, well, wait a minute, Lipton, I can see you on the screen. You obviously are here. And I go, if we turn the lights off in the studio, you won't see me. And everybody goes, well, uh, that sounds foolish. And I go, you know, here's what the point was. The only way you can see anything that's physical is you have to have the lights on. I said, but why is that? And I said, because the photons of light coming from the source hit the surface of the energy and then are reflected back. So I'm invisible except for the surface. I say, yeah, but the surface is invisible except for the photons that are coming from the light and bouncing back. So I can see you with the lights on, but I can't see you with the lights off. Why? Because it was the photons that gave me the, the visual image. And underneath that layer of photons, there's nothing but energy on there. If I could take off the film of the outside where photons are and you looked at me, it would be an invisible screen. I am made out of energy. The table is made out of energy. But the important part about it is as long as light's hitting it, I can see it. So it's a unique form of energy. So it's a little bit like a pixelated screen. If I could really see you as you are, Bruce, you'd be a lot of little pixelated uh, of molecules. Of energy units, but not, not even molecules. They're just energy vortices, like little nano tornadoes. And, and this is where the difference is, because A, you can see me because the lights are on. Then you say, yeah, but in the dark, I can come up and say, oh, I can feel where you are. So I feel you. You must be physical. And I go, energy force. In other words, 
a tornado is an energy force field. And I say, yeah, guess what? If you try to drive a car through a tornado and you drive right up 100 kilometers per hour up to the tornado, guess what? It'll be the same as hitting a stone wall, yet there's nothing physical there. You hit a force field and the force pushes back. And so the atoms that make up my body are nano tornadoes. There's a force field on them. So when I try to push through your energy, my energy is buffed up, buffered by yours pushed back. So I'm pushing on you, I feel you, but the fact is I'm just feeling the energy of where you are. So now I want you to take this right down into the individual, what is inside that creates me as me, Bruce, and you as Bruce. Ooh, what makes a, Liz a, and Bruce? A, a very interesting topic into itself because the first thing we have to recognize, so let's go back to quantum physics for a minute because that ties us back to the New Age. And the New Age says, oh, energy interacts with my physical body. Old vision. No, physical body affected by physical things. So therefore, we don't talk about energy. Quantum physics says, no, everything is energy. So the invisible energy that surrounds us, cell phones, television broadcasts, radio broadcasts, coming through this room right now, are entangling with my energy. And all of a sudden, what we now know from quantum physics that the energy of the field can shape the physical structure of matter. And all of a sudden it says, wait, new physics, energy is the sole governing agency of the particle. Particle is matter. The energy, invisible, is the sole governing agency of matter. All of a sudden, quantum physics says, you know what you left out as Newtonian physics? You left out the invisible field. Now it turns out, not only is the invisible field present, but it is more powerful in influencing you than the physical field. And all of a sudden, so let's add the last definition to tie it off, and that is, so what do physics call the field? What's the definition of the field, the energy around us? And, the, and here it is, definition of field. Invisible moving forces that influence the physical world, okay? Yes. Then I say, coincidence. A couple thousand years, give me the definition of spirit. Invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. So spiritual understanding was left out of the scientific equation because we ignored the energy. Quantum physics come back in and says, what you left out, what other people used to call spirit, is the invisible forces that influence us. So the new biology is what? Based on the invisible stuff that we've left out of the equation. How do you feel about something? And Things like that. And this, John, is what you're doing so much in... Yeah, in that's where mind-body medicine works, energy medicine works, even ozone, with the, which is very rich in negative ions. So Being we're able using field physics science, yeah. which is a very, very inexpensive way of getting massive outcomes very quickly. But it's the new frontier of medicine, it's a new isn't it? Oh, absolutely. See, because conventional medicine has been locked into the physical model. So it's your physical body, then if I want to give you a medicine, it has to be a physical medicine to affect a physical body. Interesting, and I get a chance to say it because I know it from the heart. The pharmaceutical industry sells physical medicine. They can't sell energy. You can't put it in a capsule. You can't put it in a tablet. So the idea is... If energy becomes a source of healing, is it of any interest to the pharmaceutical industry? Zero. I can't sell it to you. It's free. Where am I going to make money? So guess what? The money from the pharmaceutical industry, which is one of the biggest industries on the entire planet, is suppressing the knowledge of energy healing and energy because it's a business model. I can't sell it, so let's don't talk about it. So in medical school which is controlled mainly by the money from this industry, this topic is not even really discussed very much because it is counter to the business interest of the pharmaceutical industry. That's fascinating, and yet more and more people like me are trying the ozones and the, and the other ways, the less tangible ways of healing our bodies and finding incredible results. We'll talk more about yeah. this, Bruce, in, in the next program. Well, and I just want to say, as, as we close off, this is why I'm so excited about John's work because John's work is saying, look, this other field has been left out because of interests of other people, but it's the most important field because it is, according to quantum physics, the source of control. So energy medicine and energy healing and vibration and all that is the new frontier. But it's completely and absolutely science-based. 
Many people don't understand the science. Nonetheless, it's science-based, E equals MC squared, which is similar to what Bruce's saying, energy, physics, matter, yes. light, photons. Einstein put it together over 110 years ago. The science is there, we just need to understand it and apply it tangibly and for positive benefits. Wonderful, thank you both. Thank, thank you, you, Bruce. Dr. Wayne McCarthy has witnessed in his over 20 year career, both here and in Hawaii, the enormous health benefits of ozone or pure oxygen. We're not talking the air we breathe. That air is 80% nitrogen, which is insoluble in blood. By contrast, ozone is pure oxygen in an activated form, O3. When it's properly and slowly administered, the blood drinks it up, it's fully soluble, and disease cannot live in an oxygen-rich environment. Our bodies are mostly water. Water-borne anaerobic microorganisms are the major cause of disease in the world today. So it makes sense to use ozone in and on our bodies to strengthen our immunity so those microbial invaders can't get a foothold. It's a simple health insurance. When we're talking today about ozone, and a lot of people won't be familiar with it in this country, although it's widely used in some countries overseas, what exactly is ozone therapy? Uh, ozone is using a derivative of oxygen called O3. So O2 is a linear molecule with one oxygen and another oxygen joined with a double bond, whereas O3 is three oxygen atoms joined with double and single bonds. But because of the different shape, it has a different chemical reaction in the body and ozone can do things oxygen cannot. So even though it's made from oxygen, it can do things oxygen cannot and ozone is the medicine. Ozone is the medicine. Give me an example of some of the things it can do. Okay, it's best known for improving circulation. So any kind of heart disease or circulatory disorders, diabetic leg ulcers, wounds that won't heal cold hands and feet, migraine headaches, you know, just the whole list of problems that come from insufficient oxygenation of the body through a poor blood circulation. It's, it's fascinating because we're all living in denuded oxygen, aren't we? The, the air we breathe now is so yeah, polluted in many countries. Um, apparently um, our Earth's oxygen for the most of the evolution of mankind was, you know, up around sort of 25, 30 percent. That's why the dinosaurs could grow so large, is because they had a lot more oxygen in their environment. Um, with pollution and so on, and the forests being cut down and so on, um, the oxygen has steadily gone down, especially in large cities like Los Angeles and that, where it can be down to 12% or 15%, whereas normally it would be 21%. You would have piqued a lot of people's interest with some of those conditions you say can be improved. There'll be people leaning forward saying, really? It can... Have you seen this over your practice? And tell me a bit about how long you've been using this. I've been doing ozone for over 20 years. Uh, it's actually been the mainstay of most of my life's work. And um, the effects that I've seen with it would just about always make me choose ozone as opposed to all other naturopathic remedies that I might use. Ozone is best used as a monotherapy, so it's actually very simple. And by improving the metabolism, we improve the absorption of nutrients from food and also the excretion of waste from the body. And so, for people who want to even look younger or have a younger energy level, it, it does help with those more aesthetic. We're talking about well-being in this program. Uh, that's, it helps with that's, that too. Yes, that's one of the effects as yeah. well. Uh, better microcirculation under the skin. And so it lessens wrinkles and improves the sort of pallor or the colour in the face and so on. Uh, that's one of the first things that the families usually notice when we're treating somebody, is that the colour in their face returns to a healthy pink. Would you mind if we drop your mother into the conversation? Because I understand that she's a, a very good age and she's doing some wonderful stuff on ozone. Could yep. you tell me a little bit about what she's doing? OK, my mother's 88 years old. She has a history of asthma all her life. Um, I've been treating her with ozone now for over 10 years probably, off and on, but her doctors tell her that she doesn't have asthma anymore. But uh, they tell her that she has emphysema. However, 
when she's at the exercise class, the nurses are saying, Mrs. McCarthy, are you sure you have COPD? Oh yes, my mum says. Yes, I do. You can check my medical record. I definitely have it. Well, they're shaking their heads. They can't believe it. Her oxygen is 100%. And she was recently in hospital. Um, this was in a time between sort of when I was actually treating. And she was in hospital with pneumonia, quite sick. Uh, it gave us a bit of a fright there, especially since she's 88. And they told her that she would be six months just in recovery. She'd have to be very careful and uh, seriously just take into mind that you can't live your normal life. You have to really work at just gentle recovery because what you've just been through has been quite serious on the lungs. So uh, we started up the ozone treatments again. Anyway, six weeks later, she took up boxing training. She was feeling so good. <laughs> At 88? 88. That's a phenomenal story. And she's also on YouTube as the grandmother who jumps out of planes. That's right. And how long does a, a treatment series last? Treatment series is six treatments done once or twice a week. The effects of ozone therapy are either permanent or at least very long lasting because we have improved the metabolism and we've saturated the body once completely with oxygen. So it's very easy to maintain that through homeostasis. So I call people back after I've treated them one or two years later, and they still have really good energy. They still have all the benefits that generally accrue during the series of six treatments. It's a real breath of life, isn't it? Breath of life. Mm. So what are the countries that's been used around the world? Uh, it's used in 41 countries right now. The number of countries and the number of doctors practicing it is burgeoning around the world. I mean, it's exploding. And we work to the highest standard with the Madrid Declaration and the International Scientific Committee on Ozone Therapy. So we're working with the world standards. And in Russia and Cuba, ozone is on their, in their medical system, has been for decades and it's used in all their departments, oncology, obstetrics, gynaecology, traumatology, surgery, and addictology, which is um, drug addiction or alcoholism. And I was reading great results even with AIDS in countries like Cuba. A couple of doctors went to Sierra Leone and treated doctors there that had uh, Ebola. Wow. Those doctors are still alive. If somebody's interested in following this through, how is it administered? It's administered through the blood with an IV started. We draw blood, we treat the blood with ozone, what we say, extracorporeally, which means outside the body. And then we reinfuse that ozonated blood, which mixes with all the other red blood cells and gives them a greater ability to carry more oxygen and also to deliver that oxygen more easily to the tissues. So fundamentally, it's a way of saturating the body with oxygen, with all the health effects that that um, sort of tells you about. Any negative effects? Side effects have been measured through a meta-analysis of 12 million ozone treatments done in Germany, and the side effect rate was 0 0.00007. And those side effects were a transient flushing of the skin and complete blindness in both eyes for up to a minute, but then it completely clears without any sequelae or any negative ongoing effects. It can be a little frightening at the time, but it is normal, and it's just the sludge clearing from the retinal capillaries. And I didn't experience that, but I've had many benefits. Thank you so much today. Thank you, Liz. is inside what's called the Hocat. It's an ozone spa and sauna. It's a steam sauna. It's got infrared therapies, which will help uh, relieve things like pain and just stimulate around his spine. The ozone comes in transdermally into his system through hypothermia, which means his skin has heated up and the pores have opened up. The ozone starts to infuse in through the skin, which is the biggest organ. But along the way, what's happening as well is the ozone's converting to ultraviolet light and hydrogen peroxide, or it's converting hydrogen peroxide and emitting ultraviolet light. So all of that's killing harmful microbial on the surface of the skin. It's extraordinarily cleansing of your skin. 
And Bruce, we're going to take you up to 38 degrees for this. Mm -hmm. And again, that will lift your pulse up. So we've got the ozone setting on 50% for both of the uh, units in here. And we'll have you in here for half an hour. So you've done this yeah. before. Yeah. Can you explain what maybe happened the last time we, last couple of times we put you in here? How did you feel? Actually, it's interesting just hearing you talk, you know, say that about the cleansing effect, because that's what you feel when you get out. There's some, uh, the electrodes that you have in here that, um, that, you know, you hold on to with your hands and they um, are creating a stimulus as well, which is uh, really, I actually love it. <laughs> I love that sensation. That... I'll explain some of the science around that for you. So inside the system, there's some biophotonic lights. And they actually activate and stimulate every cell in your body, including in your gut. But this is explaining some of the reasons for that lightened feeling you're experiencing, in line with the fact you've been oxygenated quite uh, significantly. So you'll be able to see, this is um, Bruce's breathing in medical oxygen. That's just giving a, a, a small extra benefit in oxygen for him. Electrotherapy he's talking about was developed by Royal Rife. So a lot of research has been done in Russia where they don't have a big pharmaceutical industry and they look at a lot more electrotherapy and ozone therapy. So obviously their health system doesn't have the budgets that we have in the West where it costs you know, anywhere between $150 and $200 a week for people to maintain their health. And we all know most people aren't that well. So it's costing between $150 and $200 a week for people not to be that well on average. Mm -hmm. So we, after lots of trial and experience and, and the number of people we work with, all the th hundreds of uh, years of clinical experience we're working with, have realized that systems like this are getting extremely good value for money. So you're getting six to seven treatments in one session. And that explains the reason why you feel so good when you're out. A very warm welcome, Ina Bosniak. You have a background in science. Could you tell me what your training was before we talk about the ozone itself? So my training was in software engineering. I wrote codes for private schools um, for different student information systems and maintained the systems. Um, I turned to post magnetic field and ozone afterwards, um, trying to conceive and really had no reason why it wasn't working. Um, figuring out that I was, it was just the cells weren't moving properly because of too much radiation, too much dis disruption in terms of the cells and the high and low frequencies because I spent so much time on the computer and the keyboard and the exposure to the, the electromagnetic uh, frequencies in general. There isn't enough talked about these EMF factors, but you could see that quite clearly in your engineering studies. Definitely. The research is coming up now and the issues are really coming up within the children because they are being exposed to so much frequency and diseases that the doctors and the, and the medical system is not familiar with. This ties in absolutely with our program which is all about how we can lift our state of health and well-being to a far greater level before we need to get sick. So tell me how ozone can help with that, Ina. Exactly. So the Hawkeye, for example, doing my research into post-magnetic field, has a metal plates within the units which detoxes, and you have several settings depending on what you're detoxing or just general detoxification. Um, we have, um, for example, many women have walked into our clinic with fibroids, with um, rheumatoid arthritis, Lyme disease with uh, circulation issues, uh, several pre-cancer, cancer conditions, that simply improving the lymphatic system and, and detoxification gave them a chance to recover and for, and for the cells to really regenerate. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, the, the vibrations from those and how they can be set to different levels? Um, the Schumann resonance, which is the frequency of the earth, is basically how the healthy body operates. The frequency of the, of the ocean, not the lake, the frequency of the soil, um, the, the forest, we all operate within the same frequency. So when the body frequency is low, our body slows down in terms of repair and it's not able to, to get hyper to do basic daily function. Such as, such as healing itself, such as detoxing itself. 
which is why, for example, patients who we have walking in with high medications for different conditions, when their body is too high in frequency, you need to calm it down, you need to calm down the brain, and this is where the toxins are being eliminated because it just comes down to body frequency and just syncing it with what it should be, the very basics, the Schumann resonance. Can you tell me about a particular case that you feel very triumphant seeing a huge improvement? Could you give me one case study, Ina? Um, a general fatigue. We've had several children even come in, and I can't put them in the sun or for obvious reason, they're not tall enough. But the mothers, after, for example, after delivering very fatigued body, because the attic system is very low, circulation very poor, the oxygen through the body very poor, and when we put them in the sauna after five, six sessions, some even after two sessions, say, oh my God, I slept through the night, my circulation, I wasn't having these crazy dreams where I just wake more tired than going back to sleep. Um, I mean, the sweating that people go through because the body literally tries to eliminate these toxins, the headaches, um, the skin discoloration, the dryness, there's so many different examples that we see every day, and it's so simple to treat when we simply put them into the sauna for two, three times. This could be by weekly, weekly, two times a week. It's very, very simple. Thank you, Ina Bosniak, and we apologize for some small problems with the sound there on Skype, but wonderful to talk to you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Well, that's our show for the week. I especially enjoyed Bruce Lipton taking us from the Newtonian focus on only the physical world into new physics in which energy is the sole governing agency of the particle, as he said. It's really like seeing science with new eyes where you are moving molecules of energy. So is the table. So is this television on which you're watching me. I also learnt much from Dr. Wayne McCarthy's account of the powerful health benefits he's seen from pure oxygen or ozone. Not to mention that brief glimpse we had of his ozone-boosted 88-year-old mother skydiving. Then there was Ina's journey from software engineer into ozone practitioner after cellular disruptions in her body from overexposure to EMFs forced her to seek other options to help her to conceive a child. Next week, we discuss food and well-being with Bruce Lipton, and then John Coombs explains biophotonic lights and their resonance with deep meditation to relax the brainwaves and also how a simple hair follicle test can give you a revealing snapshot of the current state of your health. Talking of food, Adrian Barkler shares his vision for his New World franchise in Remuera, where he supports a revolution towards organic and spray-free. And we follow Bruce Hopkins through Adrian's store as he gets advice on how to improve his food values. We close next week with a visit to the catering kitchen of a former chef of Madonna, Peter Chaplin. He'll inspire you with ways to prepare fresh, healthy, delicious foods in a straightforward way. Until then, I wish you a week of well-being.